Hello. Welcome to Natural English. Today we are going to do English speaking practice with a new short story. First, you are going to listen to the story. Study new words to understand the story clearly. Listen to the summary of the story to understand the story. Then you will hear a lot of easy questions about the story. Try to answer these questions out loud. Listen to the story without any words to improve your listening skill. Okay, are you ready? Let's get started. Natural English. Learn English like a native. Part 1. Listen to the story. Listen to the story and try to understand the story's content. Dishwasher. Mrs. William lived in a small street in London, and now she had a new neighbor. Her name was Mrs. Smith, and she talked a lot about her expensive furniture, her beautiful carpets, and her new kitchen. She said to Mrs. William one day, Do you know, I've got a new dishwasher. It washes the plates and glasses and knives and forks superbly. Oh, and does it dry them and put them in the cupboard too? Well, the things in the machine are dry after an hour, but it doesn't put them away of course. I've had a dishwasher for twenty and a half years. Oh, and does yours put the things in the cupboard when it has washed them? Yes, he does. He dries the dishes and puts them away. Mrs. Smith was taken aback by Mrs. William's response. She couldn't believe that Mrs. William had a dishwasher with such advanced capabilities. Curiosity got the better of her, and she asked, Is your dishwasher some kind of robotic helper? No, it's my husband. He's quite handy in the kitchen. Mrs. William chuckled. Mrs. Smith was astounded and slightly envious of Mrs. William's helpful husband. She realized that her bragging about her fancy appliances seemed insignificant in comparison. From that day on, Mrs. Smith learned to appreciate the value of a loving and helpful partner more than any high-end gadget. Part 2. Vocabulary. Take notes for new words and speak following the video. Carpet. 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 Thick material for covering floors, often made of wool. Example. Her name was Mrs. Smith, and she talked a lot about her expensive furniture, her beautiful carpets, and her new kitchen. A wall-to-wall -wall carpet. Superbly. 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 Magnificent or excellent. Example. A superbly crafted goal by the new striker. It washes the plates and glasses and knives and forks superbly. Astounded. 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 Very surprised or shocked. Example. Mrs. Smith was astounded and slightly envious of Mrs. William's helpful husband. The announcement left everybody astounded. Slightly. 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 To a small extent, a little. Example. Mrs. Smith was astounded and slightly envious of Mrs. William's helpful husband. I'm still slightly worried about it. Envious. 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 Wanting something that someone else has. Example. Mrs. Smith was astounded and slightly envious of Mrs. William's helpful husband. She was envious of his success. Rag. 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 To talk too proudly about something good that you have done or that you own. Example. She realized that her bragging about her fancy appliances seemed insignificant in comparison. He's always bragging about how much money he earns. Insignificant. 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 Not important or large enough to consider or worry about. Example.
She realized that her bragging about her fancy appliances seemed insignificant in comparison. They paid me an insignificant sum of money. Gadget. 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 A small piece of equipment that does a particular job. Example. From that day on, Mrs. Smith learned to appreciate the value of a loving and helpful partner more than any high-end gadget. A useful gadget for opening tins. Fancy. 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 Expensive and fashionable. Example. She realized that her bragging about her fancy appliances seemed insignificant in comparison. A fancy restaurant. Part 3. Summary of the story. Listen to the story summary to understand it more clearly. Mrs. William and her new neighbor, Mrs. Smith, engaged in a conversation about their dishwashers. Mrs. Smith boasted about her new dishwasher's washing capabilities, but Mrs. William surprised her by revealing that her dishwasher not only washes but also dries and puts away the dishes. Mrs. Smith was amazed by this and made a sarcastic comment. Mrs. William then humorously disclosed that her dishwasher is actually her helpful husband. Mrs. Smith realized the importance of having a loving and supportive partner, recognizing that material possessions pale in comparison. This encounter led Mrs. Smith to appreciate the value of a helpful spouse more than any high-end gadget. Part 4 Ask and answer. Now, I will ask you many questions about the story. If you need more time, you can pause the video and answer questions. Then play it again. Let's get started. Where did Mrs. William live? Mrs. William lived in a small street in London. Who was Mrs. William's new neighbor? Mrs. William's new neighbor was Mrs. Smith. What did Mrs. Smith talk a lot about? Mrs. Smith talked a lot about her expensive furniture, beautiful carpets, and new kitchen. What did Mrs. Smith proudly mention having? Mrs. Smith proudly mentioned having a new dishwasher. What did Mrs. Smith's dishwasher do superbly? Mrs. Smith's dishwasher washed plates, glasses, knives, and forks superbly. What did Mrs. William ask about Mrs. Smith's dishwasher? Mrs. William asked if the dishwasher dried the dishes and put them in the cupboard too. How long had Mrs. William had a dishwasher? Mrs. William had had a dishwasher for twenty and a half years. How did Mrs. Smith react when she heard Mrs. William's response? Mrs. Smith was surprised by Mrs. William's response. What did Mrs. Smith say about the dryness of the items in her machine? Mrs. Smith said that the things in her machine were dry after an hour. Did Mrs. Smith's dishwasher put the items away in the cupboard? No, Mrs. Smith's dishwasher didn't put the items away in the cupboard. How did Mrs. William respond to Mrs. Smith's question about her dishwasher? Mrs. William said, yes, he does. He dries the dishes and puts them away. What did Mrs. Smith find amusing about Mrs. William's response? Mrs. Smith found it amusing that Mrs. William's dishwasher was actually her husband. Did Mrs. Smith's dishwasher have robotic capabilities? No, Mrs. Smith's dishwasher did not have robotic capabilities. What did Mrs. William say about her husband? Mrs. William said that her husband was quite handy in the kitchen. How did Mrs. Smith feel about Mrs. William's husband being so helpful? 
Mrs. Smith was astounded and slightly envious of Mrs. Williams' helpful husband. What did Mrs. Smith realize about her bragging? Mrs. Smith realized that her bragging about her fancy appliances seemed insignificant. What did Mrs. Smith learn to appreciate from that day on? Mrs. Smith learned to appreciate the value of a loving and helpful partner. What did Mrs. Smith realize was more important than high-end gadgets? Mrs. Smith realized that a loving and helpful partner was more important than high-end gadgets. What was Mrs. Williams' neighbor's name? Mrs. Williams' neighbor's name was Mrs. Smith. Where did Mrs. Smith brag about her belongings? Mrs. Smith bragged about her belongings, including her expensive furniture, beautiful carpets, and new kitchen. What did Mrs. Smith acquire recently? Mrs. Smith acquired a new dishwasher. How did Mrs. William respond to Mrs. Smith's revelation about her dishwasher? Mrs. William simply replied with an O. Oh. Did Mrs. Smith's dishwasher have the capability to put items in the cupboard? No, Mrs. Smith's dishwasher did not have that capability. How long had Mrs. William owned her dishwasher? Mrs. William had owned her dishwasher for twenty and a half years. How did Mrs. Smith react to Mrs. Williams' response about her dishwasher? Mrs. Smith responded with surprise and a slightly mocking laugh. Did Mrs. Williams' dishwasher actually put items away in the cupboard? Yes, Mrs. Williams' husband, who she referred to as her dishwasher, did put items away in the cupboard. What did Mrs. Smith inquire about Mrs. Williams' dishwasher? Mrs. Smith asked if Mrs. Williams' dishwasher put the things in the cupboard after washing them. How did Mrs. Williams respond to Mrs. Smith's question? Mrs. Williams confirmed that her husband, as her dishwasher, dried the dishes and put them away. What did Mrs. Smith ask about Mrs. Williams' dishwasher, sarcastically? Mrs. Smith asked if Mrs. Williams' dishwasher was capable of putting things in the cupboard while laughing nastily. What did Mrs. Williams assert about her husband, in response to Mrs. Smith's question? Mrs. Williams affirmed that her husband indeed dried the dishes and put them away, acting as her dishwasher. Part 5, listen to the story without any words. We're almost done with today's lesson. Now we'll double check our results. Listen to the whole story again without seeing any words. If you've heard and understood every sentence, congratulations, you had a great study session. However, if you still can't hear all the sentences clearly, please study this lesson again. Let's get started. Dishwasher. Mrs. William lived in a small street in London, and now she had a new neighbor. Her name was Mrs. Smith, and she talked a lot about her expensive furniture, her beautiful carpets, and her new kitchen. She said to Mrs. William one day, Do you know, I've got a new dishwasher. It washes the plates and glasses and knives and forks superbly. Oh, and does it dry them and put them in the cupboard too? Well, the things in the machine are dry after an hour, but it doesn't put them away of course. I've had a dishwasher for twenty and a half years. Oh, and does yours put the things in the cupboard when it has washed them? Yes, he does. He dries the dishes and puts them away. Mrs. Smith was taken aback by Mrs. Williams' response. She couldn't believe that Mrs. William had a dishwasher with such advanced capabilities. Curiosity got the better of her, and she asked. Is your dishwasher some kind of robotic helper? 
No, it's my husband. He's quite handy in the kitchen. Mrs. William chuckled. Mrs. Smith was astounded and slightly envious of Mrs. William's helpful husband. She realized that her bragging about her fancy appliances seemed insignificant in comparison. From that day on, Mrs. Smith learned to appreciate the value of a loving and helpful partner more than any high-end gadget. Okay, that is the end of the lesson. Please listen to the lesson many times until you answer the questions quickly and confidently. If you have any questions about the lesson, please comment below this video. Please subscribe to our channel to listen to more lessons whenever and wherever you want. Natural English. Learn English like a native.